John Robert Baylor was a man who would be a handful for any modern psychotherapist. He grew up as an army brat on various frontier posts in the 1820s and 30s and interacted with Native Americans at an early age. He ran away from home at the age of 13 to fight in the Texas Revolution, but was returned home by concerned adults. He later settled on the northwest Texas frontier at age 18 and joined a volunteer militia to fight the Comanche, who still ruled the lands called North and West Texas on paper, but which the Spanish had fittingly named Comancheria. In the 1850s, Baylor served a stint in the state legislature before serving in exactly one year as a U.S. Indian agent in North Texas. He was dismissed from this job for his brutality, which says a lot considering that the Indian Wars were still in full swing at the time. After the stint as Indian agent, Baylor got in trouble again for raising a private militia that tried to violently evict natives from their own federally assigned reservation in North Texas, thus forcing the regular army to intervene and stop him. Baylor then tried his hand at a number of side hustles, but he finally disappeared from the Indian Tory after a business competitor ended up dead, with foul play suspected. Baylor then returned to farming in Texas. As a side hustle, he founded a rabidly anti-Native American newspaper he called The White Man, which lobbied for complete extermination of indigenous people in North America, and peaked at over a thousand readers along the Overland Stagecoach route. He was a bitter critic of Governor Sam Houston for being what he called too soft on the Indians, and was delighted when the legislature voted to secede from the Union and remove the Unionist Governor Houston from office. Once Texas seceded, Baylor published a newspaper ad looking for 1,000 armed men to join him on a buffalo hunting expedition on the Great Plains. He raised around 300 volunteers, which became the optimistically named 2nd Regiment of Texas Mounted Rifles, that being cavalry, despite only being at battalion strength. Raising these troops got the Indian fighter commissioned as a lieutenant colonel in the Confederate States Army. Baylor brought one of his seven slaves with him as a body servant for the second Texas Mounted Rifles expedition to the far west. In July 1861, Baylor and his battalion arrived in the self-proclaimed Arizona Territory, which had been self-governing from Tucson and Mesilla for over a year, with a small citizen's army scattered around the vast territory to protect the mines and frontier settlements, 